My name is Roy Tzu, and today I'm going to react to the winner of Supernova, which is the Latvian national selection for Eurovision 2020. So the winner of yesterday was none other than the main favorite of Eurovision fans, of the bookies, and as well as mine. Yes, it was Samantha Tina with the song Still Breathing. I'm so happy that she won. Oh my god, you can't even imagine. She was clearly the she had clearly the best song uh, easily the, the best song to slay at Eurovision and, and I just wouldn't uh, expect other winner than Samantha honestly she just slayed at the auditions she slayed at, in the final performance I mean she's just such an amazing performer yeah, I watched the Supernova final. There were other really, really good songs, but they wouldn't be as good uh, for Eurovision as Samantha's song. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna react to her whole performance in here. Uh, she performed in the final. So yeah, let's go. Samantha Tina with the song Still, Still Breathing. Let's go. Let's move our heads to the rhythm, to the beat. I just love this song. Oh. Her real name is Polakova, though. Surname. And uh, she co-composed, co co-wrote the song with uh, Aminata Savadogo, who competed for Latvia at Eurovision in uh, 2015, 6th place. When she starts singing, it's just like, yeah, let's lay. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I just love her. The, this is such a killer beat. I mean, it's a banger. It's a bop. You know what I mean? Oh. And there we go, build up. Let's go up to the sky, yeah, and party. I mean, it's so fun. I love this beat, this rhythm. Oh. I would love to be on the stage there and just slay. Yeah, let's go! Woohoo! I mean, the, the way she works with her hands and she does everything that, you know, with her head. Oh my god, her body. She's a born dancer. And I, I love how she has fun with herself, you know? Um, she's so free, like, so much freedom on the stage. So much of freestyle going on. Just going with the flow. There we go, again, build up. And I love these three ladies. They might be a bit weird for, so, for some of the viewers if they see this at Eurovision, but I mean, this is so good. Yes, I have mine as well. Woo, yes, let's go. Love it. Oh, I love it. Can I join you, Samantha? I have this spray also. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, I love this. Let's get the party started. And vocally, it's just pure sledge. I mean, she's perfect. Yeah, let's go! Oh my god. How she moves her body is just so beautiful. Mm. There you go! Oh my god! She is a real diva, I mean, just look at how she moves, how she slays every single camera angle, every single second of this performance, this song, oh, love this. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this kind of music, because it's 
electronic, it's experimental, it's a bit of futuristic even. Uh, but it's perfect for Eurovision. I mean, it totally stands out so far out of these six songs. We don't have such a song. Such a banger, you, you know what I mean. And some people uh, are co uh, comparing her to Maruf from Ukraine that would have uh, part the, uh, gone to Eurovision if not for uh, their uh, Ukrainian weird politics thing uh, that happened, sadly. Uh, but yeah, there's kind of a same, uh, kind of a similar vibe that Maruf had, a slaying vibe. You know what I mean? Uh, and this song, with, I mean, maybe the staging could uh, have a little improvement uh, because, you know, I mean, um, it's not bad, of course. Uh, that dress is amazing, though. That dress is just literally gives me life. No energy uh, with those kind of hanging things. Oh my god, I forgot the name in English, but you know what I mean. That you can slay with them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just love how she. The, the outfits of her. I mean, in the auditions round, she had a uh, yellow, uh, similar to this, with those things hanging here. Uh, and it looked maybe better, I think. But she looks so good. Her hair, even. It's just, uh, you know, she's just beautiful. It, she's just beautiful and that's it, basically. Uh, there's certainly some potential to slay at Eurovision. Uh, I mean, there's so many ideas of the staging. I, I, I'm a fan of a bit of improvement of the staging, but the song, the performance as a whole, is perfect to go to Eurovision. Vocally... Visually, it just really sounds very promising, everything. Yeah, this the song has some craziness, but, but catchy craziness going on in the chorus, which is really good. And yeah, I, I think I'll remain a big fan until May, and I'll just keep on listening to this song. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm just... Surprised that I still can't uh, can still can keep breathing <laughs> after watching this because uh, this song is uh, is such a banger. I mean, I would love to dance to this club in the, in a club on a party to have fun to dance to it, you know. And Samantha is a wild stage animal, but she's she she's full of energy, and I love it. Full of positive energy, she totally slays. I mean, oh, don't love, love her, love her, and I wish her a top ten at Eurovision. She she will go surely to the final. I can see this staying in the semis. It's impossible. This is too good to stay in the semis. Oh, yeah, that's just it, guys. You know, I I could keep going on in this video and uh, say she's so good, she's amazing, she's perfect for Eurovision. But yeah, it, it, it's true, it's true. I could keep going on and saying all the positive things about it, but... Oh yeah, yeah, it, I think it's enough, it's enough for me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm happy that my uh, second favorite uh, was actually second. Uh, Katrina Dimantis with the song Heartbeats. She was... Uh, she finished second yesterday and I was really happy because uh, the live performance was really good as well, really strong. Um, so yeah, internal I really enjoyed, um, Supernova as a whole, I really enjoyed watching it. I'm glad that uh, there was 100% televoting because the Latvian people could choose who they liked the most and they liked Samantha Tina, and that's a sign that um, it gets the um, approval of the nation that this song, that Samantha, can go easily and slay the Eurovision. That's who they want to represent the Latvians. They want Samantha Tina to slay at Eurovision, and I hope that Latvia will get back to the final after three years, yeah, of break. 
Uh, actually, they were last time in 2016. So yeah, that's four years actually. Uh, but three editions of break. So yeah, good luck to you, girl. You're gonna slay. I can't wait to meet you in Rotterdam. Uh, to be honest. Okay. So if thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do the thumbs up. If you want to share your opinion about this killer entry of Latvia, mm, well, actually, finally, Latvia is will be very high in my ranking, like in, in top 10 for sure. I mean, this song is just perfect. Uh, so yeah, if you want to share your opinion, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, be sure to sub subscribe to my sh uh, channel and hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified about my newest songs. Uh, what? Songs? Uh, I, I'm not a... S I don't sing, I'm not a singer, what the hell. So <laughs> be sure to hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified about my newest uploads, newest reaction videos, not songs. What the hell? Uh, I'm not gonna become a singer. I, I don't know how to sing. Sorry, guys. Uh, please forgive me <laughs> for this. <laughs> okay, but it, it was funny, right? Uh, and yeah, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more songs. Um, no, uh, yeah, uh, the links to the accounts uh, on social media uh, are uh, in the description below this video. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye.